what's up you guys welcome back to my channel i missed you guys i'm giving you a little virtual hug i really missed filming Oof, lord have mercy i'm back in san diego i'm filming and i filmed my nail video for you guys i had originally filmed this before with like the old nails that i used to use which are kind of like acrylic nails they kind of look like them but they're obviously they're not acrylic because you don't have to apply them with like the powder and everything but they look like acrylic nails and i filmed that video because that's what i used to use to do my own like manicures at home but then I was like, you know what, honestly, that system takes so long. I'm going to try to see if I can go to Walmart and find, like, nails that are, like, kind of, like, press-on nails and that are already painted so I don't have to, you know, like, file them, paint them, wait for them to dry, all that, all that jazz. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to go find some nails and I found the nails from this brand. I didn't sponsor anything by them. Like, I literally just found them when I was shopping with Jose and I was like, you know what, let me try them out. And so far, I really like them, you guys. And I think these look so much more real than my old ones used to look like. My old ones were so ratchet. And now that I think about it, I'm like, how did I go out of the house wearing those nails? Like, I really am impressed with these nails. And I've been wearing them all day today. And I've been doing so much today. And I feel like they haven't come off. Nothing has happened weird. So, I don't know. I'll keep you guys updated throughout my videos and throughout my social media on how these nails worked. If they do stay on nicely, because these are like no glue needed nails like they have like a sticky thing on the bottom of it which is what allows them to add um adhesive to your nail so i'll keep you guys updated on them today's video is about how i do my own manicure at home for under ten dollars under ten dollars you guys yes i hope you guys enjoy this video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already i'm really trying to reach 30k before my birthday which is in four days so yeah please don't forget to subscribe and let's get right into this video Okay, you guys, I'm starting off with my little nugget hands, my little nubs that we're going to transform right now. So I'm going to be using the Impress Press-On Manicure Nails. I really like the box because it comes with, like, the story behind the technology of this nail. And it also comes with very detailed instructions in picture form, which I feel like is very helpful for people that have never used Press-On Nails before. And it really tells you how to do it. It also comes with, like, a cleaning pad, which is very important to sanitize your fingers before you apply any type of fake nail on top of it. And it also comes with more detailed instructions in different languages. And it also tells you which nail goes on which finger, which I find very helpful. So I really appreciated that. And then it comes with the nails. The designs on these nails are so pretty. They have so many. I was looking on their website. They have so many designs. But I chose this one because I really like the white and the gold theme. I think that looks really pretty. I don't like the ones that have the word love on it, so I didn't use those. But the rest are really, really pretty. And it also comes with 30 pieces. And you also get a little mini nail filer, which I did not know that, but I really appreciated it because filing your nails before applying any type of adhesive or fake nail is very important because you want to make sure it's nice and smooth. There's no nasty things on there. It's nice and smooth. So when you apply the press on nail, um, it will, you know, stick to it. It won't have any bumps or anything like that. So I went ahead and did that. And then I also cleaned up whatever, whatever residue was left over with the cleaning pad. Then it's time to apply the nails, my favorite part. I kind of chose the design of white, gold, white, gold, and then white because that's what I saw on the box. That's the design they had, except for the middle finger had the love one, which I didn't use. That's the design they had, but you can choose any design you have depending on how the nails feel on your finger, which is a really important part. That's what I was doing right now. I was kind of seeing which thumb would fit best on my thumb. That one obviously didn't fit, it was too big. And before cutting it and shaping it, I wanted to test out to see if there were other, other thumbs that fit better. And that was a nail that fit perfectly on my thumb. So as you can see, there's like a little flap at the bottom of the nail. When you peel that off, that reveals the sticky adhesive. And that's what you place on your nail. And that's the new technology that requires you not to use any glue with these press-on nails. So I just remove the flap. I press it on my hand. I press it for 10 seconds, 10 to 15 seconds until I feel like it's really really dug in there and then I kind of like to do a trial test where I try to pull it off I try to move it I try to you know do things to see if it's going to easily come off and it didn't so I was very impressed with the adhesive and then I went ahead and did my index finger I for my index finger I wanted to use the gold shimmery one it's like super glittery you guys so pretty definitely my vibes so like again I took off the flap I placed it on my index finger nail and then I held it for 10 to 15 seconds, pressed it on super tightly to make sure there were no cracks, no edges that were not pressed on. And then I did a test run again to see if it would come off and it didn't. And for my middle finger, not my middle finger, for my ring finger, I used another gold one. 
that isn't all golden glitter it has like a pattern with white which I also did the same thing I took off the flap pressed it on for 10 to 15 seconds and ensured it did not come off and then for the pinky I decided to also use gold even though for my other pinky on my left hand I had used a white one but for this one I was like you know what I want to use gold I wanted to do something bold so I did the same technique I was doing with all my other nails taking off the flap pressing it on and then ensuring it won't come off For my middle finger, originally, like I said, it came with the one that said the word love on it, but I thought that was a little bit too moxa for me. So I decided to use just a plain white one that was originally for the thumb, but since it didn't fit me since it was for the thumb, I had to cut it and kind of mold it to fit my middle finger, which you are allowed to do. I checked on their website and you are allowed to cut their nails. It won't ruin it. So once I molded it, cut it, and just kind of make sure it fit my middle finger perfectly, I just did the same thing, I took off the flap and then I placed it on my middle finger and also took a nail filer on all my nails just to make sure it looked perfectly curved, there was no weird edges, all that stuff and that is how I do my nails you guys. This is literally something you can do under 10 minutes for under $10. It's absolutely insane. I love the design. I think it looks very pretty, very feminine and girly and the nails look so real. I got so many compliments on it today and so far they haven't come off. So yeah, I just wanted to share this with you guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know what you guys think of these nails. I genuinely want to know. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.